Yerp. What is good, y'all? And welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for y'all. Don't mind the tire. If you guys have been in the loop with all the vlogs, then you already know what's going on with this joint. If you ain't been in the loop with all the vlogs, then go ahead and tap in with Friday's upload and you'll get brought up to speed as to what the hell is going on with my tire. Um, but as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, bro, we do have a installation video. Finally, bro, a new mod for Vader. I've actually been sitting on this mod for upwards of almost two years now, bro. Um, it's a very tricky install, but I think I am going to be able to finesse it today. So I'm going to go ahead and take you guys along for the ride. So that being said, y'all, we're going to go ahead and get this car put up on my lift and raised up and then uh, get straight into this vlog so that being said let's go ahead and roll that intro and get straight to it y'all so as y'all can see we got vader up in the air right now now the modification i told y'all we're going to be doing is we're going to be replacing my oem reflectors those red joints with these smoke joints now these are going to match the tail lights the whole reason why i left them on not only for the install purposes but also the red flows better with the license plate but i ain't gonna bat like that right there i don't know so that being said, bro, we about to go ahead and get this install going. All right, y'all. So basically, there y'all can't really see, but y'all can see there's a Phillips screw in this hole right here. And that is literally the only thing that holds these joints in place other than this clip. So all we got to do is undo the Phillips screw and then kind of pry it outwards towards ourselves. And the reflector should drop out. And then we could go ahead and install this one and reinstall the Phillips screw. We should be straight to go. Should be simple, but I ain't gonna lie, it's a little tricky. You got the stock MPP muffler, bro. It's gonna be a little hard to get to, for sure, for sure. So, shout out AWE. That came out fast as hell. I ain't even had to try to pry it out. What the hell? All right, y'all, so this is the finished product while the car is still in the air. And I can't lie, that joint already looks 10 times different. It's low key better, bro, because now it's like all the attention is on the one and the plate. You feel me? But let me go ahead and get the car down and then I'll give you guys kind of like a better like on ground view. For those of you guys who seen the video on Friday, bro, this is my driver's side wheel, bro. Look at this. All from that crater that I hit, bro. It cracked the passenger wheel and then chip the hell out of my tire and my wheel on the driver's side bro that was terrible yeah man i ain't gonna lie with the car down on the ground now that smoke looks way better bro that shit flows with the tails like crazy let's get a start up for y'all real quick Comments, bro. What y'all think? The red or the smoke? I ain't gonna lie. The smoke for sure. Got my vote right now, bro. Sheesh. Shout out to the boys over at Wild Hammer Motorsports, man. If you guys are interested in getting these joints for your car, this is actually the first modification I actually got from Wild Hammer Motorsports, and they've been sponsoring the channel ever since. If you're interested in getting these for your car or anything for your car, bro, Camaro, Corvette, it doesn't matter, bro. J.I. Wild discount code, man. Save yourself some money at checkout. Go browse, see what they got on the website, bro. I'm telling y'all, they got some good stuff from performance to cosmetic to carbon fiber. Even though that falls underneath cosmetic, they got you covered, bro. No doubt. The next day. All right, you guys. So like the SpongeBob announcer just said, it's been a couple days uh, since the install. And honestly, y'all, it is such a small and subtle modification but it still holds such value in the entire look of the rear end 
Like, I can't lie. The rear end of the car really does look different now without having the red reflectors. It's kind of hard to explain. So, like, I'm just going to go ahead and put two pictures up on the screen. One of before these install and then one of after. And you guys can see. And I'm going to leave them up there for, like, a couple seconds so you can really look at it. And, like, you feel me? Focus on it. And then... Uh, we'll come back, you know what I'm saying, and see what you guys think. Because I really want to see what you guys think in the comments. So let me know in the comments. All right, you guys. So there you have it. You guys have seen the before and the after. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below what you guys honestly think. I personally feel like it really made a difference even though it's something so small. And you guys already know how I am with all of my builds. If you've been a part of the JI squad for a minute, I really like all my cars to look OEM plus. What does that mean for those of you that are new? OEM plus is basically like, it looks like it came from the factory. Like basically I build my cars how I want them to come from the factory. You feel me? So it's like, I just take what Chevy gave us and what I feel like is missing, I'll add to the car. So OEM Plus is like, I don't want it to look like, oh yeah, you definitely added that. You know what I'm saying? I want the question to be, damn, did it come like that? You feel me? So like, that's why like my interior, like everything that I've done is like, has been like calculated. Every move that I make with every build has been calculated to make it seem as though it came from the assembly line at GM, like that, you feel me? And I do be getting that question a lot. Damn, did it come like that or you added that? You feel me? And so, yeah, that's how I just go with all my builds. So I do feel like that definitely holds weight to the rear end of the car now. Um, I think all we're missing now is a carbon diffuser, just to be honest. Just to keep it a buck. Because I ain't going to lie. The little pattern that the reflector is kind of looks a little bit, a little bit like some carbon. A little bit like some, little bit like some 3D carbon fiber, man. I can't lie, man. So, I don't know. I think it's time to get the carbon diffuser. But the one that I want, the company that makes it, is like so iffy on like their production line. It's like they don't make enough. So... I'm just scared, bro. Like, uh, I've been waiting for these people to come back and stop, and they haven't. So I'm scared that they're not going to. Um, and if they don't, then I'm going to be forced to have to go with the Anderson Composites joint. And they only make one style, if I'm not mistaken. So it's like, damn, bro. Like, I really like... Another thing that I like to do is, yes, I like to be OEM Plus, but I also like to be different, like... I like my builds to be different from other people's builds. Like I want my car to be going down the road. You see it. You don't even see the decals or nothing. And you already know. Oh, yeah, that's that's J.I. Invader for sure. You feel me? So, like, I don't know, man. Worst to worst, I had to get the Anderson Composites joint. And then one, the actual diffuser comes back in stock. Then I can just either A, do a little raffle. Um with you guys or B sell it to one of you guys or C do a giveaway um for one of you guys. I don't know. Um we'll see man. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I don't know man. If it comes back in stock, I'm gonna grab it. But if it doesn't then Anderson Composites. But that's enough rambling bro. I appreciate you guys if you made it all the way to the end of this video. Hit the like button for the kid. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Make sure you go follow me on TikTok. Go follow me on TikTok. I'm running it up on TikTok right now, so go follow me on TikTok. All right, I'm going to go ahead and roll that outro. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.